Did you add anything when you when you were developing the movie? Did you did you add anything from your own Yes Day experiences? Oh my gosh, so much! I mean, I, I've never done a movie where I drew more from my personal life ever. Uh, for example, ice cream for breakfast, of course. Although, luckily, my family doesn't take it as far as this does. And <laughs> finishing the day in a tent playing um, chicken foot which is something I just saw uh, Sarah Jessica Parker talk about years and years ago. And I bought a chicken foot set and my kids have played it on Yes Day ever since. We love it. Um, and so, yeah, those are those are two things. But then also my kids do call me the fun killer. That's in the movie. There are, you know, there and as they get older, more of the fun for them is making fun of me or kind of torturing me when as they were little, it was breaking more simple rules. So they're, they're definitely, but the main thing from my life is that, you know, at first, the first draft really had the teenager being snarky and really kind of nasty and a real troublemaker. And so there was this kind of external pressure. And I kept saying, no, the heartbreak is just that she's growing up at all. That's what's heartbreaking. It's heartbreaking for the mom and for the teenager and just needing to have that kind of severing of those baby mama ties. That's what's so hard. You don't have to have her be a jerk. She's it's even harder that she's lovely. So of course, Jenna Ortega pulled that off. I think perfectly. She's such a doll. 